every time I want to make a video. <clears throat>so we're back here with a Morris Minor. Sorry if it's been a few weeks, uh, life gets pretty busy around here, two small kids and all, so I didn't want to put out a half kind of baked video, so today I've actually got some time to do some work, so today we're going to be stripping out the rest of the engine bay, getting all the wiring out, suspension, <coughs> engine mounts, gearbox, uh, getting out this rusty battery tray, so we're going to drill out a load of spot welds and bits, so clearing this whole space so we can do the rust repair, get it in primer at least, or etch primer, uh, and get it all sprayed up, get it looking nice. Um, there's no, apart from this one hole up here, which we'll get you in closer later, uh, there's no other rust repair required here, so we're just going to clean it, spray it, um, then this bit's done. Uh, gives us a chance to test out our paint, test out our new spray guns, uh, see what kind of results we can get on a bit we're not going to see too much of so good experimental area um, get everything dialed in so we know that the rest of the car will end up looking great so let's get into it Two down. Let's attack the brake lines, I guess. All right, so we've got brake line that runs from the uh, brake master cylinder, I guess, um, up to this T-joint. Uh, goes off to the front brakes here, so disconnect that, take those out. We're gonna be replacing those lines anyway, uh, but we'll try and keep them intact so we Makes it easier to make the replacements. Got our flare wrench. It's a tool print one. I got these on clearance a while ago. Ah, yeah. Don't know if we've got any brake fluid in here. Should probably be prepared a little bit. Just in case. Right, they're mostly undone. Uh, there's wiring there for a brake switch. We'll uh, label that and uh, take it off. All right, brake lights. Wow, and I'm just fairly munted. Alright, so that's that out of the way. Should be a bolt under there, I'll take it. Probably that size. It's off. Oh, that's that. It's <laughs> even brake fluid in that one.
I'm not going to worry too much about labelling all, labelling all this because um, there's not really a lot to it. <coughs> I'm sure we can figure it out. Uh, so whether I end up buying a new wiring harness or I make one. It's a bit of a specialty of mine making wiring harnesses but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. So what you've just missed is me pulling the wiring wiring harness through from the back. It wasn't overly exciting. We didn't miss much, but um. There's our fuel pump, uh, full of fuel. Taking pictures of all this stuff, so um, we'll just have to wing it when we uh, come to put it back in. Yeah. 
There we go. A Lucas voltage regulator. A big old fuse in the back. High tech. Looks like it's been modified at some point. Speedo cable. Two one five six one eight. So we're going to get this battery tray out. Uh, it's held in by a load of spot welds. Uh, so we're going to drill those out. We've got this handy spot weld remover. A Toledo one. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, you can I've kind of ground off some of them. Uh, so we can see where I need to get these spot welds out. And um, see how well this thing works. So the idea is it kind of grinds got a center punch to hold it in place and then the cutter cuts around the uh, the spot weld uh, so you only damage we only really cut through the top layer and um, can take the uh, dodgy bit out Thank you. 
Yeah, that centre bit. Probably need to centre punch them, centre punch them first, but I don't have a centre punch. We'll find a centre punch, or someone to use as a centre punch, because we might be here all week. pilot bit it doesn't want to pop out anymore so we'll see if we can um, tease it out so I have to say famous Toledo they're not my famous favorite tool brand so far uh, they're the same people that I got the um, valve spring compressor from and uh, remember how that went Pretty average tool. Well, no, the drill's amazing. The drill's fantastic. But uh, this uh, purpose-built. See if I can drill a center of it. is useless.
We've got a wiring loom. Relatively neat. Um, but yeah, so we've got this to repair behind there, so I had to come out. Uh, that spot well drill was completely useless. Um, need to tidy up some of those edges that I've butchered, but uh, do a repair panel there. New tray, and uh, jobs are good. Un. That was quite a big effort getting all those bits and pieces out but engine bay is pretty clear now we've just left the two suspension uprights whatever they are top links top what's its trunnions doohickeys uh, just so we can keep the front wheel so we can wheel it around the place when we need to uh, they'll be coming off soon once I've finished building the rotisserie um, but yeah engine bay is clear didn't uncover anything too nasty got the wiring loom out got the gearbox out drive shaft uh, what else? Battery tray, that was a bit of a mission. Jesus, hot. Um, and quite a few other bits and pieces. So, yeah, quite a, quite a lot further forward than we were. Uh, that was quite a big effort though. That's probably six or seven hours out here doing stuff. 
Um, but yeah, giving it a clean up. I got rid of all the grease because obviously you don't want to start sanding grease because it just clogs up your brushes, sandpaper, whatever else. Um, but yeah, um, having second thoughts on the colour, well not second thoughts, um, people have suggested grey. quite like the idea of grey because if you look at the, um, you saw in the windscreen video, the original colour of this car is quite a nice grey, dove grey I think it could be. You can see bits of it down here and taking the, um, the pl plates, plates off. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of veering towards a, a decent grey. Um, but yeah, I might have to have a talk to the guys at Super Cheap, see what we can do about that, because uh, sure I could mix the white with the black and make it grey, but can I make it consistent for a whole car? Not too sure, so we'll work on that. Um, and yeah, quite a lot further forward. Um, Yeah, lots, lots to do still. Um, still in the stripping down, so once we strip down we've got to repair, uh, repair, prepare, paint, build it back up. So certainly moving forward, um, it's still going to take a while. Um, restoring a classic car is quite a big effort, even one as small and simple as this one. It's a uh, yeah, pretty big job. Uh, so there we go. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers! I'm going to get out of my car now. <laughs>